Today's session is about multiplying numbers by 6 and 7. This is Teacher Angel and welcome back to my channel. The learning goal of today's topic is to multiply numbers by 6 and 7. Alright, so first, let us recall what is multiplication or what is the definition of multiplication. Right! Multiplication is repeated addition. Multiplication is the short method of adding numbers. Alright. Okay, let us also recall the parts of a multiplication sentence. Let's say we have 5 times 6 equals 30. So 5 is the multiplicand. Multiplicand is the number that is being multiplied. And 6 is the multiplier. Multiplier is the number that multiplies. Alright, and then 30. 30 is the product. That's the answer in multiplication. Alright. Now, we also label 5 and 6 as the factors. Factors are the numbers that we multiply. Okay? It's like in addition, we call the numbers that we add addends, right? So, in multiplication, the numbers that we multiply are called factors. Okay, very good. Now, let's have our problem of the day. Anjali bought two dozens of eggs and Liz bought ten pieces of eggs. How many eggs did they buy altogether? Alright, so let us find the solution to this problem. First, you should know what's the meaning of a dozen, right? Okay, a dozen is actually equal to 12 pieces. So, Anjali bought two dozen. So, let's represent this one. We have two bars and one bar is 12 pieces. The value of that one bar, one unit is 12 pieces. And then, Liz bought 10 eggs, right? So, let's draw a bar. A little smaller than the one bar of Anjali. Okay, one, the bar of Anjali, one bar. A little smaller. So that represents 10. Okay, so the first step is to find first the total of the eggs bought by Anjali. So 12 plus 12 or 2 times 12 is equal to 24. Alright, and then to get the final answer, we will add also we will add all the total of eggs they bought, right? So that's a step 2. 24 plus 10 equals 34. Actually, some of you would tell me, ah, I can answer that teacher by using one step only. Yes, alright, you can just add all the numbers, right? 12 plus 12 plus 10. You can do that also, yes. We have different ways on how to find the answer. So this one is just my way of showing you so that you have a guide i'm showing you steps so that you have a guide in solving problems all right so the final answer now is they bought 34 eggs all together now are you excited are you excited for the next part which is the multiplication facts of six all right now this is the multiplication facts of six six the multiplier is in the middle and then if you're going to multiply that to the numbers in yellow you'll get the answer right there beside the numbers in yellow now i want you to help me recite the multiplication facts of six okay read aloud with me recite the multiplication facts of six with me are you ready yes okay very good 6 times 0 equals 0. 6 times 1 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. 6 times 3 equals 18. 6 times 4 equals 24. 6 times 5 equals 30. 6 times 6 equals 36. 6 times 7 equals 42. 6 times 8 equals 48. 6 times 9 equals 54. 6 times 10 equals 60. 6 times 11 equals 66. 
6 times 12 equals 72. Great! Very good! Alright, so let's practice. I hope you remembered the multiplication fact of 6. Alright, so let's answer. What is 5 times 6? Alright, so I will be showing you also different methods on how to get the total or to get the product of 5 and 6. Look, there is a picture, right, that shows 5 groups of 6. So you can actually add 6 5 times and write it as 5 times 6. Okay, and that is equal to 30. Now, this solution, okay, another solution. What if you forgot 5 times 6, but you remembered 6 times 6, which is 36, right? And then, you know what is 1 times 6, which is 6. So you will just subtract the total or the product of 6 and 6 and then 1 and 6. 36 minus 6 is equal to 30 because 6 minus 1 is 5. So that will now give you 5 times 6, 13. Alright, amazing, right? Another. What if you forgot 5 times 6 but you remembered 5 times 5, which is 25? So to make it 5 times 6, get 1 times 5, right? Because 5 plus 1 is 6. So that is now, you add now 25 and then 5, that will make the 30. So that is already 5 times 6, right? Amazing! Alright, another one. What is 8 times 6? So you can draw actually 8 groups of 6. There, you will add 6 8 times. So 8 times 6 is equal to 48. So the same technique that I showed a while ago, you can do that. Another solution, 5 times 6, you know it's 30. And then 3 times 6 is equal to 18. And then you just add, right? Add 30 and 18, that is equal to 48. So that, you can get the total of 8 times 8. And other combination, this is just a sample children. Alright? Another solution by using subtraction. 10 times 6 is 60, right? And then that's 10, So, but, it, but we need 8 times 6. So we need 2 and 6 to subtract. You subtract 10 and 2, that is 8, right? So that will give you 8 times 6. So subtract 60 and then 12. The answer is 48. See, amazing, right? Okay, now let's move on to multiplication fact of 7. So please, again, just like a while ago, I'd, I'd like you to recite the multiplication factor of 7 with me. Let's start. 7 times 0 equals 0. 7 times 1 equals 7. 7 times 2 equals 14. 7 times 3 equals 21. 7 times 4 equals 28. 7 times 5 equals 35. 7 times 6 equals 42. 7 times 7 equals 49. 7 times 8 equals 56. 7 times 9 equals 63. 7 times 10 equals 70. 7 times 11 equals 77. And 7 times 12 equals 84. Very good! And thank you for cooperating. I know you also recited the multiplication fact of 7. Alright, so let's practice. What is 4 times 7? So we have 4 groups of 7, right? And then we add 7 4 times. So 4 times 7 is equal to 28. And then apply the other technique that I taught you a while ago. We can do this solution. We can do 2 times 7 if you remember 2 times 7. And then another 2 times 7 to make it 4 times 7, we add 14 and 14, that's 28. Alright, another. By subtracting the numbers, 5 times 7 is 35, 1 times 7 is 7, then we subtract the, the, the product because 5 minus 1 is 4. So 35 minus 7 is 28. Alright. 
right, let's have another one. What is 7 times 7? A draw 7 groups of 7, right? So it's 49. Apply this method. 5 times 7 is 35. 2 times 7 is 14 because 5 and 2 equals 7. So that is 7 times 7, right? Add the products. Okay, 35 plus 14 is equal to 49. Then you can do subtraction also. 10 times 7 is 70. And then you remember 3 times 7, which is 21. 70 minus 21 is 49. So children, these are just techniques. Okay? But if you can practice multiplying numbers, it will be easier for you to get the product. Alright children, so this is it. This is uh, for today, the session for today. I hope that you learned something. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and click that all notification bell so that you will be updated when I upload my new video. Alright, bye everyone and God bless you all.